Okay, now the key of G. Alrighty, now the key of A. Next up, the key of C.
And finally, the key of D. It is time to start the play along. sitting here last couple minutes just reading some comments um, so really glad you're here um, always like to welcome new folks if you are new um, welcome it's a friendly group we do this every Wednesday at seven o'clock Eastern time so seriously we're glad you're here um, we're friendly I promise so uh, if you haven't said hello yet say hello it's your first time where you're from how long you've been playing uke something like that you will make friends here, I promise. Um, I have. And then you see them elsewhere. You go to a festival and you run into people. So it's really cool. Um, we're going to do nine songs tonight. We're going to have scrolling chords and lyrics. Um, we are going to kick off an amazing um, event. Um, we're going to be designing and giving away a uh, Maya Moa. I'm going to play um, a Maya Moa because I, I, I got one. Um, been on my bucket list for a long time. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. It's a really cool contest. You're going to learn a lot and have a chance to help design something very cool and then uh, potentially, if you're lucky, uh, to win that very cool thing. Um, and then we got some other, some other stuff, but uh, we'll just get started. I've got the, 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 if you're new, the, the playlist is prearranged. We don't spend any time debating what song we're going to play. I put those out ahead of times. I uh, make chords and lyrics available if you want them. There's a way you can get those. Just sign up for a free account on Patreon, but I can get you free chords and lyrics um, in advance if you want. Some people like to practice before a play along. 
That's awesome. Um, but I may make those available to you. So, oh, and I did want to show this. If you're in a warm part of the world, um, I wanted to show you this. This is Florida. So greetings from Florida. Um, it was a really nice sunset tonight. It was about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, that was uh, post sunset. So um, if you are cold, um, you might like it. Some people love the cold. I do not. Um, and I doubt that will warm you up very much. <laughs> but, but there you go. Sunset from Florida. Okay, so let's get the first song up here. Let me get that ready. Um, if you're new, also, we're on a couple songs. It varies. Um, we do uh, drum beats. Sounds like this. Thank you, Kathy Gibbs. I'm glad you got to be here one time. So that's the drums. And uh, we're just going to play along. The first song we're going to do is this. Put on your best Elvis. So let's just, before we start, we're just going to uh, vamp. That means just play D. Just play D to the B. We'll start. I just want you to get feel of it. I think you got that, right? If you're not used to playing with drums, um, try it. Download an app on your phone, pair it to a Bluetooth speaker. It's pretty amazing what you can do just from your phone. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Oh, well, the blessing of my soul, what's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man on a fuzzy tree. My friends say I'm acting as queer as a bug. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, my hands are shaky and my knees are weak. I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Who do you think when you have such luck? I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Oh, oh. Please don't ask me what's on my mind I'm a little mixed up but I'm feeling fine When I'm near that girl I love the best My heart beats so it scares me to death She touched my hand and what a chill I got Her lips are like a volcano that's hot I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup I'm in love I'm all shook up Oh, oh My tongue gets tired when I try to speak My inside shaking like a leaf on a tree There's only one cure for the soul of mine And that have that girl that I love so fine She touched my hand the water chill I got Her lips are like a volcano that's high I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup I'm in love All shook up oh. All right, that is song number one. That's what we do here. We scroll, we play, we chat. Uh, Mary Wilde, thank you very much. <laughs> so I got to meet, I just, we just talked about like meeting people. I got to uh, hang out with, uh, it's very innocent, I swear. It was a bunch of people, but uh, Mary, who just chatted in the comments there, was, she was playing ukulele to like 2.08 in the morning. Mary, you are awesome. All right, let's uh, come back here. We have never done this next song before. We do Buffett now and again. Buffett's, there's some good, really good Buffett songs, good on the uke. Um, we have never done this one though. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna do it tonight. Yes, Greg, room 109. All right, so uh, if you're new, I try to put these little uh, arrows to help uh, 
guide you if you're looking for guidance. Some of you aren't. You can strum just fine without any guidance. But some of you are like, how do I do that? What's the strum on this song? So the down arrows just mean a single down strum on that chord. So we're going to start over, but just to give you an idea. That's what we're going to do. And you see that a few times, Look, if you look in the verse there, the same thing happens uh, throughout the song there. There it is again in the chorus, back into the verse. So that's what we're doing. Your chords are there. Um, some people say, can you keep the chords on the screen while it's playing? On song, that's the program I use. They created a way, but it does not work well yet. It works okay. But the problem is there's only this much room and if you have this many chords then you lose your chords and it's not working quite perfect yet. So what I've heard some people do is they take a picture of this with their phone or their iPad and then they just put that next to them while they're playing and they can glance over. Because as soon as the song starts these will disappear. Now if you're new to playing ukulele um, you're like I have to look at the chords but I promise you once you play a little bit you will memorize G, you will memorize C. Every chord up there, you won't need to look anymore. Might not, you might not be there yet, but you will. All right, here we go. To sink somewhere, I'm close to bodily harm. Twenty degrees and the hockey game's on. Nobody cares, they're way too far gone. Thinking boat drinks, something to keep them all warm. C, C, D, D, this morning, I shot six holes in my freezer. I think I got cabin fever. Somebody sound the alarm. Here's the bridge. I'd like to go where the pace of life slow. Can you be me somewhere, Mr. Scott? Any old place here on earth or in space. You pick the century and I'll pick the spot. I got a verse but can't rhyme it I gotta go where it's warm Boat drinks Waitress, I need two more boat drinks Then I'm heading south for my dream shrinks I gotta go where it's warm I gotta go where it's warm I gotta go where it's warm I gotta go where there ain't any snow Where there ain't any blow Cause my fence sinks so low I got to go where it's warm Alright. Alright, that's a fun one. That is a fun one. So, um, if you're joining late, a lot of people ask about chords and lyrics. Yes, I make those available. I didn't used to. You have Donna. Uh, in uh, Nova Scotia to thank for that. One day she messaged me and pleaded that she wanted to practice prior to the play along. So I did that and, and we do that every week now. All right, what is next? What is next? Oh, okay, so I mentioned the festival. This is fun. I mentioned the festival, Beecuff, uh, Brown County Ukulele Festival. It's in Nashville, Indiana, about an hour south of Indianapolis in the middle of the winter. Uh, and people just go and just hang out and uh, have a great time. So I was just there a couple weeks ago. Um, and I went to the open mic, um, part of the open mic. Um, and I heard this song i never heard before. 
And I, I have a little, on my phone, I keep a little list of songs that would be good for a play along. So, um, the Stamies, you don't know who the Stamies are. You might. Um, the Stamies, it's Chris and Christy Stamey. Um, they sang this song at open mic. And I wanted to do this song. And instead of me doing it, I messaged the Stamies. And I said, hey, would you mind um, doing this for, the, for Wednesday? And they, they were very nice. And they said yes. So we're going to do this song. Let me scroll here real quick. Uh, right here. There we go. So that's the song, Sing Me a Song. It is a duet, but you can sing both parts. Um, and if you are ready, this is Chris and Christy Stamey with Sing Me a Song. Thanks, guys. And I really appreciate y'all doing this. I'm not sure if they're watching, uh, but I really appreciate them doing this. All right, here we go. Hey, everybody. I'm Christy Stamey. And I'm Chris Stamey. And we want to thank Greg for inviting us to do a song for the Wednesday night sing-along with uh, Ukulele Jen. And the name of the song, we hope we enjoy it. The name of the song is Sing Me a Song, and it's by William Prince and Serena Ryder. So, here we go. That's right. Hey, Wednesday people. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. saw her uh, pop into the comments saying she just got home and uh, caught caught them um, them play so anyway Chris and Christy thank you very much cute song love it a lot of fun um, so thank you appreciate that it's just way better than me singing a duet that's <laughs> that's for sure all right what is next what is next here ah oh 
Okay, so I mentioned last week that I got a new ukulele, and I haven't gotten a new ukulele in a long time. I, and I mean that sincerely. Um, but I got this uh, ukulele, which is a Mayamoa, um, which is a really awesome, awesome um, instrument. So I'm going to play a song with this. I'm going to pick a song with this. Make sure we're tuned. Um, and then after that, I'm going to talk about how you can win one of these. It's, it's about the probably the coolest thing we've ever done on this show. So I'll talk about it um, after this song. So the next song we are going to do, and we're gonna, I'm just going to do a simple Travis pick. So just outside, inside. Right? Outside, inside. G-A-C-E. G-A-C-E. Right? I'm not going to do a whole demo here other than just real quick. Just G A C uh, C E. One at a time. And when you do it faster, it's going to sound a little bit like that. Okay? Cool? You got that. You can always practice that. You can look that up on YouTube. I have a Patreon thing that can show you, but you can look it up on YouTube. Uh, the wood on the uke. I'll talk all about wood. This is koa. This is koa. Oh, this is just, isn't that just the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Woo! And that, I mean, it's just awesome. All right, so here we go. But I'm going to talk about that, about how you can vote on what dream uke you'd like to have um, in just a moment. So that's going to be the picking pattern. I'm going to get a little closer to the microphone. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'll take that as a yes. All right. Here we go. You could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old-time movie, about a ghost from a wishing well. In a castle dark, or a fortress strong, the chains upon my feet, you know that ghost is me. I will never be set free As long as I'm the ghost that you can't see If you could read your mind, love What a tale your thoughts could tell Just like a paperback novel The kind that drugstores sell When you reach the park where the heartache comes, the hero would be me. But heroes often fail. And you won't read that book again, because the ending's just too hard to take. F. G. F. G. I'd walk away like a movie star who gets burned in a three-way script. Enter number two, a movie queen to play the scene of bringing all the good things out in me. But for now, love, let's be real. Never thought I could act this way I got to say that I just don't get it I don't know where we went wrong The feeling's gone and I just can't get it back Who's Travis picking all the way through? I'm curious Ah 
outside inside. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark. Or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet. The stories always end. And if you read between the lines, you know that I'm just trying to understand the feelings that you like. I never thought I could feel this way. I've got to say that I just don't get it I don't know where we went wrong The feeling's gone and I just can't get it back Ah! I love this thing! Alright, so let's come back here Um, I gotta get a couple things ready to talk about this so, okay, yes. Okay, so I did mention this. We kind of gave a sneak preview last week. So rest your fingers for just a minute. I'm gonna talk for a minute, but this is, this is good talking, I promise. Um, so we, so like I said, this is a Mayamoa. Um, just an awesome instrument. Um, and I met Carrie last year at the, a, a festival, and then I saw him again this year. And we got to talking a little bit, and um, and he was interested in doing a promotion, and we brainstormed a little bit. And this is this is the promotion, y'all. So he builds custom ukuleles, right? So this promotion is going to be each of you, everyone watching, and even if you're not watching, you'll get a chance to do, to do this. You will have a chance to vote on what you want. Uh, what would your dream ukulele be? So you get to pick all of the, uh, the specs. And if you look on the screen, that little graphic, you get to pick um, the wood and the neck, fretboard and bridge, the tuners, the head plate, the rosette, the bindings. So you get to vote on that. And then after a week of voting, so for this whole next week, we're going to have a week of voting. And then we're going to tally it up and pick the winners. And whatever wood got the most votes and whatever rosettes and tuners, um, that is going to be the ukulele um, that Carrie um, from Mayamoa, um, that will be the ukulele that he builds. Over the next month, um, then he is going to uh, um, provide updates uh, to me that I will show on the show. So you can see every week like what he's done. He cut the wood, he bent the wood, he glued the thing, he put the bindings, all these different things, you're going to watch it um, be built. But if you, if you just think, well, you just go on Amazon and you just click order an, a ukulele, there's really a, a lot that you can learn here. And I really would encourage you. I'm going to, one second, let me get this ready. I've got to show you two things. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this. So when you... When you go, I'll, I'll, I think Terry is going to put this in the comments, but I'm also going to make a Facebook post after the show. Okay, so it'll take you, that link that Terry sends you will take you to this survey. And you'll enter your name because obviously we need to know who you are. Um, but you can pick the size of the ukulele. You can pick the wood you want to use. If you know things about wood, um, there you go. Some really pretty wood. Um, the binding and rosette, like what style, the fretboard. You have all those options. Head plate. Now, the head plate will look like that because that's kind of their signature, that little um, zigzaggy wood kind of thing. Um, but what wood it's made of, um, you'll, get the, you'll get to select that. And tuners, right? So that's really cool. So, um, Terry just put that in the comments. So you can grab that now or you can just go to a Facebook post after the fact okay and then on and this is where it's really cool because if you don't know a lot about like ukulele construction um, sometimes you hear like strings making the difference in the sound of a uke the wood makes a tremendous difference and 
you will often um, see or hear people talk about the ukulele sounds really warm or really bright. Um, and a lot of that is based on the wood. So when you're, when you're in here, here, let me click on here so you can see. So if you click on instruments and go to features and details, you can poke around the site, but you can look up and do research on the wood. So if I go to details here, each of these is a link that I can click on and really learn more about stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool too. If you go here and go to wood and choose wood selection. So if you scroll down a little bit, um, let me scroll down. So if you look at that little graph, it's a little scale from left to right. On the left side, you'll see it says warmer. On the right side, it says brighter. So a koa, that's what this is. Um, and that wood is considered really warm. The choices, if you saw just a moment ago, I believe they were koa, uh, mango, which is still warm, but a little towards the brighter side, and then um, myrtle um, was a choice, and sycamore. So you got a real warm, and you got some that are kind of a medium warm slash bright. So really cool stuff on the site. You can check that out. Um, and I'll put that link in there, but you can see it up top. It's just mayamoa, ukuleles.com. All right, great. So, um, so again, back to here, let me do this real quick, back to here. So this is going to be real important. So you can go do a little research, learn a little bit about just ukuleles, um, go vote. And then next week we're going to show you. Okay. This is going to be so cool. Uh, and then next week, once we know what wood has been selected as the wood you want the ukulele to be made out of, um, uh, Carrie is going to have actual blocks of wood that I'm going to show you and you're going to be able to pick the actual block of wood because one piece of koa looks very different than another piece of koa. So this is pretty cool. And then everyone who votes on the, uh, the, the uke um, is going to have an entry into winning the uke. Um, but some people will come on later after we've already voted. Um, so there's going to be another opportunity after the fact. Um, so if you're watching tonight, you're going to actually have the opportunity for two votes, like two entries into winning. Um, whereas everyone who's not watching tonight and doesn't vote tonight or, or doesn't vote this week uh, will just get one vote. So glad you're here. Uh, okay, so that's really exciting. Uh, let me come back to the songs. So I will, again, Terry put it in the comments. I'm going to make a Facebook post right after this um, and uh, give you all those details so you'll have them readily available just on the ukulele junk site. I'll, uh, I'll share the post to the JAMA junks, but I'll put it on ukulele junk. Okay? All right. I'm going to, this is, I'm going to pick, I'm going to use this again. Um, towards the end of the night um, and pick another song. Um, I'm going to strum with close and I could strum with the other one but and I'm going to do a little strumming with the next one when we do a song. We're going to do a combination of pick strum but you're like come on Greg get on with it let's sing a song. So let's do that but I'm really psyched about this contest. Okay we're going to use the drum machine again let me change this a little bit and uh, start that. Mary Lynn, you're right. It is going to be so much fun. All right. So this is uh, those G's and C's in the middle. Uh, sorry, G and F is, is a split strum. So it's like this. So that G and the F, are, you can just do two downs on each and you'll keep up. Ready? Devin Scott. Devin Scott has joined us. Hello, Devin. I just saw Devin like two days ago. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. One. I see the bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. I see the earthquakes and 
lightning I see bad times today Don't go around tonight Well it's bound to take your life There's a bad moon on the rise I hear the hurricanes are blowing I know the end is coming soon I fear the river's overflowing I hear the voice of rage and ruin Don't go around tonight Well it's bound to take your life there's a bad moon on the rise Don't go around tonight Well, it's bound to take your life There's a bad moon on the rise Hope you have got your things together Hope you are bright, you can bear to die Looks like we're in for nasty weather one eye is taken for an eye Don't go around tonight Well, it's bound to take your life There is a bad moon on the rise Don't go around tonight Well, it's bound to take your life There is a bad moon on the rise there is a bad moon on the rise There is a bad moon on the rise All right. Well, Angela, that's awesome that you're singing harmonies. I I want to talk I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but we got a lot of stuff. So let me uh, get this up real quick. Uh, and I mentioned this last week, but it's it's coming up. So I really want to uh, remind you once. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize. Sorry about that. Um, so uh, this sun this coming Sunday, uh, Little Rev is gonna. He's in Florida on a tour, and he is going to be coming through Orlando, and he's gonna be at my house and doing a workshop. So we've got people from Orlando that are coming for the workshop. That's already filled up. Don't show up at my house. <laughs> unless you unless you've RSVP'd because there won't be room. Um, there won't be room to park. But for everyone else, um, there's going to be a concert. So after we jam and eat and uh, do a workshop, um, Lil Rev is going to do a concert. And that concert is going to be live streamed. Just like this show is live streamed. So I already have a Facebook event for that. You can all... You can see that on the ukulele gent site if you want to say you're you know interested or we're coming awesome um but join us it uh, he did this last year and it was awesome it's this very intimate concert you'll feel like you're in my living room um so put that on your calendar this is really little rev is awesome he's just absolutely um phenomenal plays pretty much all the instruments i joke with him on that Okay, so put that on your calendar. That's this Sunday, this coming Sunday. Don't miss it. It'll be recorded, but it's going to be more fun to watch it live, I promise. All right, um, and then one more quick thing. Um, well, I'll let Pete talk about it. So uh, Pete McCarty, Petey Mac, as he is known in the ukulele world, um, is just a great guy, great performer, um, does a lot of um, good in the world, a lot of good in the music world. Um, just a lot of good. And he puts on, he did it two years ago. He put on a festival, a, a ukulele festival. He's putting on another one. So I will turn this over one second. That is ready. And this is ready. And I'll let Pete do the talking. You don't need to hear me. Hey, yo! 
everybody. Hey, buddy. I'm on the Great Jim Show. <laughs> Hard to believe. Hey, first of all, let me personally, personally invite each and every one of you to the Memphis Youth and Roll that's going to be happening here in April in Memphis, Tennessee, my hometown. Uh, it happens every couple of years, and this is the year. We, if you don't know anything about it, it's a lot of fun. We have some wonderful artists that are going to perform for you. We have a lot of workshops. Most importantly, rule number one, we're going to have fun. So if you haven't been, you can get your tickets at MemphisYouCanRoll.com. Come visit us. We'd love to see you. Let's talk about this song, Now and Then There's a Fool Such As I. The only chord in there that maybe is a little bit, little bit wonky is D flat 7. And basically, it's a, it's a full D7 that you move down the fretboard. So you're going to bar that first whole fret, and then you're going to put your next finger on the first string of the second fret. That's kind of what it sounds like. Bet you could play it better. And you got to tap that in Elvis. You got to put a little mm and uh in there. <laughs> Let's try this. First part, instrumental. visit me at the Memphis You Can Roll. Greg, thank you so much for having me on. Greg is awesome, is he not? God bless everybody. <laughs> ah, Pete's great. Pete McCarty is great. All right, so what do we got? See, there's a lot of stuff tonight. I told you there was a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, and that's the first time, you know, I had that song in my song library, um, but I, we had never done it on the show. And who better to do that song than Pete? Okay, let's go to the next song here. Don't stop. So we've talked many times about chucking. <clears throat> this is a great chucking song because you can just... It's like the lion sleeps tonight, Chuck. Just down, up, chuck, up. Down, up, chuck, up. So I'm just going down, up, chuck, up. Down, up, chuck, up. Poor Jane. Pretty much the whole way through. 
If you don't know how to chuck, YouTube, Patreon. I've got it on Patreon, but you can always find that stuff on YouTube. All right, here we go. You ready? G. wanting to learn how to chuck that is a great song once you're practicing because it's just chucking over and over and over but it just adds a fun little uh, thing to that song I was gonna say one other thing what was it hmm forgot it'll come to me <laughs> there really was something mention little rev Mention the Mayamoa contest. All right, uh, we are gonna let's switch ukes again. Oh yes, I, I ended up ordering a strap for this, and then I didn't like the strap I ordered. So this is a close strap, but it's a really nice one, really thick one, leather and stuff. Oh, that's what I was gonna mention. Um, Terry Brandsman made me think of it. I just. Uh, I just texted Terry uh, a few minutes ago and said, you are on fire tonight with all these links. Um, Terry, man, you're a mind reader too. So for the new folks, we do this play along every Wednesday on the Jam it, no, on the Ukulele Gent Facebook page. But we have a sort of a sister site, companion site to that called Jam it Gents. And Terry just put that in the comments a moment ago. And what that does, it's just a group. Um, it's not a public group, it's private, but all you have to do is answer a few questions and we'll let you in. We want you to be part of that. But we want people who are part of Wednesday to be part of that. So, um, 
what we do on that, you can share stuff. You can, we're, we're not promoting anything. We're not like, it's not an advertising site. So just be careful about that. Don't want that stuff. But you know, if you've got like a song that you did um, and you want to post it, great. If you bought a ukulele and love it um, and want to tell people that you love it or hate it. Um, so it's just for sharing information. Um, but we also do this thing called a six day challenge. And what it is, um, for all those that already know this, I'm sorry I'm repeating, but um, for the songs that happen tonight, each week, the songs that happen tonight, you'll have six days, the next six days, because the seventh day is this show. So you want to do it before the next show. So you'll get to pick a song, practice a song, and post a song. And we get some really great stuff. Um, it's just great to see people. Some people, it's like this is the first time I've ever recorded myself and posted. So it's a great site for encouragement. You can watch others and learn a lot by watching others. Um, so anyway, it's, it's a lot of fun. So join the group if you want to. Join the JMET Gents group. And uh, if you're feeling so inclined, um, take the challenge. And this is, this is a brand new uke, so I am going to just double check. Um, the strings, no, the strings have, you know, they need a little stretching. Okay, we're still, we're still perfect. All right, let's, uh, let's go here. I think someone made a comment on this. We did this song once before, well, we did this version once before. And I made some little notes with these little post-it notes here. So you don't have to play it like this. You could strum the whole song. You could pick the whole song. But I'm going to follow the post-it notes. I'm going to try to. So we're going to start slow with just Travis picking. Then we're going to continue the picking. We're going to then move into a soft strum there. Then we're going to add a chuck. Strum and chuck a little bit. Then we're going to whistle. Then we're going to go back to just strum and chuck. Then back to soft strumming and then back to... So we're going to wind it up and then wind it back down. And that's also on the, I think, I believe that when I exported the song sheets, I believe that's uh, on the song sheets as well. So. Are you having fun tonight? I feel like I'm talking fast, so apologies for that. I just, there's a lot of information. Um, you know, favorite strings, it's Kathleen. People ask that, but it, it's very subjective it depends on the uke what kind of wood you have because one set of strings might sound great on this uke but that same set on another uke doesn't so it's really tough to recommend just out of the box without knowing anything else i think it's tough to recommend strings if, if you know someone that has a, a uke like yours might be helpful okay so i'm just going to pick you uh so one two three four Da, 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 da. Wait a second. Let's start that over. Um, I'm going to not play that first A, and then I'm just going to speak the every breath you, and we're going to come in on take. I think that'll probably be easier. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ba, 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 Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you every single day. Every word you say, every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you. Now we're going to strum and chuck. Oh, can't you see? Oh, I forgot the strum. <laughs> you belong to me. How my poor heart aches. And every step you take. Every move you make, every vow you break, every smile you fake, every claim you stake, I'll be watching you. 
Since you're gone, I've been lost without a trace. It's dreaming that I can only see your face. I look around, but it's you I can't replace. Feel so cold, and I long for your embrace. Keep crying, baby, baby, please. Here we go, instrumental. Oh, can't you see, you belong to me, how my poor heart is, with every step you take, every move you make, every vow you break, every smile you fake, every claim you stake, I'll be watching you. Every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Now just Travis Beck. Every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching you. So... Most of the time I follow those post-it notes. <laughs> um, oh, that's it. No, we got one more song. Um, let me get ready for that last song. So really, I hope everyone has had a great time. Join us next week. We do this every Wednesday. Um, share this with your friends. The more the merrier. Um, we do collaborations on the show. Collaboration, uh, we do a special every now and again. And it's like when uh, people from Wednesdays, um, they, they collaborate and create a song and, and those become the play along songs. Um, so we might do that soon. It's a lot of work, but we might do that soon. But um, I did a collaboration for this. And then uh, I asked Patty Roberts, who has a lovely voice. Um, she posts some collaborations with herself to that Jam at Gent site. And she's just fun. So I, I messaged her and I had said, hey, Patty, would you like to lend some vocals to this? And she said, yes. Um, so let's get ready for that. Um, the song is a, a stone song, As Tears Go By. Um, the track behind this, I mean, I'm, okay, so you'll see, I'll explain this. I'm playing a baritone ukulele plugged into an amp. Um, so you can kind of hear um, what's going on there, if you're wondering. Um, what else? And then I'm playing, I'm playing the baritone you twice um, in two different parts. So the backing track for this is available on Patreon. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can go check that out. Um, but it's really cool because it's not just something to play along with. I think it's instructive. I really think it's, one second, I'm gonna come back here. I think it's instructive because it teaches you more, you know, when you're playing at your house and you're playing a song, you're, you're it, right? You're, lead, you're the lead vocals, uh, you're the lead, you know, rhythm instrument. When you're playing with others though, if you go to a jam, if you go to the library, if you do something, if you're playing with others, and it does create more interesting sound if it's not, you know, 30 people all doing the exact same strum. That's fine. If, if that's what you want to do, that's awesome and that's fun. If you want to just branch out from that a little bit, um, these tracks help you do that. It, it helps you think about what it sounds like to accompany um, somebody who's playing like the, the main instrument. Um, and you can do simple picking patterns like right in the background and you're like well why would i do that because it sounds nice it can um, or maybe just single down strums on a chord change um really sounds nice so the backing tracks really are a cool thing to uh to tinker with and really to understand like what does it feel like 
and what would I do to play along with someone else so we're not doing the exact same thing. All right, so here is As Tears Go By um, with Patty Roberts uh, helping out with vocals. Oh, wait, let me show this first, just so you get chords first. So key of C, so nothing too crazy there. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Patty Roberts. Again, if you like that kind of that backing track, um, you can go check that out on Patreon. Um, okay, so let's recap. Um, hope you had fun, first of all. That's what this is all about. Um, but let's recap. Uh, Maya Moa, um, in five minutes, I'm going to post on Facebook um, the links for that. So I saw someone in the chat asking to, have, to be messaged the link. I'm going to post that on Ukulele Gent and jam it gents in less than five minutes. Five minutes from when I, we stop. Um, so check that out, make your, make your selections, pick your dream uke, your wood, your tuners, all that, all that things. Um, check out the Mayamawa site, that's also gonna be in what I post. And you can learn all about ukuleles and all the options and woods and the, the tone of wood and whether it's warm or bright. So it'll be an educational experience as well. Um, so that's that. And then also on Sunday, if you didn't put, on, put it on your calendar yet, um, Little Rev um, live streaming from my house, um, available to you on Sunday at seven o'clock. So that's gonna be really, really cool, y'all. Okay, that is it. Uh, Tim Henderson, hello. I had fun too, thank you. Um, thanks, Lori. Uh, y'all, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad we get to do this, and I'm, um, just so thankful that uh, we all have ukulele in common. Isn't that great? All right. So have a great rest of the week. 
Um, as always, have a fantastic weekend. Um, see you in February. So next week, but it'll be February. Okay? Uh, that's it. Good night, everybody. Ciao. Thank you.